Morning, all. All right, so uh, we got six games tonight, and that's it. Now, the one good thing is that uh, we still have some undecided matchups in the West, but all the matchups are decided in the East. The good thing is, though, the East is done. Uh, it's just Western teams playing tonight. So, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Seattle and Minnesota. That's an early start for Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota's won the first two meetings. I don't see any reason why they won't win the third. December 10th, it was 3 0. February 24th, it was 5 2. And it's so hard to predict the last night of the year. You just never know which teams are going to make more of an effort than others. It's it's difficult to tell, except for those that are actually playing for something tonight. So, Seattle, 33, 35, and 13. The top two scorers over the last month for them have been Bjorkstrand, who has played 14 games. Two goals, seven assists, nine points. Matty Veneers, 14 games. Four goals, four assists, eight points. And again, so it's the top two scorers for each team. And then somebody I just wanted to talk about a bit. Thomas Tatar. Six games, one goal, one assist, two points. Is this his final season in the NHL? Does he come back next year? We'll see. Uh, Minnesota, 39, 33, and 9 overall. Kaprizov, 13 games, 10 goals, 9 assists, 19 points for him. Uh, Boldy, 13 games, 5 goals, 9 assists, 14 points. So strong finish to the season for them. And Ogrins looked pretty good. Three games, one goal, one assist, two points. Eight Eastern, five Pacific start between Vancouver and Winnipeg. Uh, this should be a fun matchup, even though there's nothing really on the line here. Uh, February 17th, Winnipeg wins this matchup 4-2. March the 9th, it's a 5-0 win for Vancouver. <clears throat> the Canucks are 50-22-9 overall. JT Miller's been their leading scorer over the last month. Four, 13 games, 4 goals, 12 assists, 16 points. Quinn Hughes, 13 games, 4 goals, 10 assists, 14 points. And Dakota Joshua, since returning from injury, has been fantastic. If this can carry over into the playoffs... Thank you. Uh, nine games, five goals, one assist, six points for Dakota Joshua over the last month. On the Winnipeg side, they're 51, 24, and six overall. Uh, Kyle Connor, their leading scorer over the last month, 14 games, five goals, nine assists, 14 points. Mark Shifley, 14 games, six goals, seven assists, 13 points. Uh, Toffoli's going to be one to watch for them going into the playoffs, uh, see how well he does. Uh, 13 games, three goals, three assists, six points. Uh, nine Eastern, six Pacific start between San Jose and Calgary. These teams have split the first two meetings. February 15th, it was a 6-3 win for the Sharks. On April 9th, a 3-2 overtime win for Calgary. Uh, San Jose 19-53-9. So this is their last chance to get to that 20 win mark. Uh, Eklund's been their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, 6 goals, 9 assists, 15 points. Kid looks like a star. Uh, Granlund, 14 games, 3 goals, 12 assists, 15 points. He's had quite the renaissance in San Jose. Uh, Graf has been good, just the one assist in six games. But again, you know, as a, as a young player just signed and everything, not too bad. Calgary, 37, 39, and 5 overall. Kuzmenko, 13 games, 9 goals, 7 assists, 16 points. Uh, their leading score over the last month. Uh, Kadri, 13 games, 6 goals, 10 assists for 16 points. And then Miramanov is going to be, I'll be interested to see how he does next year in a fir his first full season as a member of the Flames. 13 games, 1 goal, 3 assists, 4 points over the last month. 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific, the Oilers and the Abs, which sadly, it, it doesn't mean anything. However, this might be a preview of maybe the conference final, right? So, uh, they split the first two meetings, March 16th, a 3-2 win in overtime for Colorado. On April 5th, a 6-2 win for the Oilers. The Oilers are 49-26-6. and six. Uh, For McDavid, he's their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 7 goals, 19 assists, 26 points. Dry Seidel, 16 games, 8 goals, 12 assists, 20 points. Corey Perry, it's going to be playoff time in a couple of days. Corey Perry's known to play pretty well in the playoffs. 16 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 5 points for Perry. Uh, for Colorado, they're 49, 25, and 7 overall. McKinnon's their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 9 goals, 13 assists, 22 points. Uh, Jonathan Drouin, 13 games, 7 goals, 10 assists, 17 points. So he's heating up at the right time of year as well. Zach Parisi, I think, will be one to watch. Veteran might be his last kick at the can. 13 games, just the two assists for Parisi. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between Anaheim and Vegas. So Anaheim's won, the won two of the first three meetings. Uh, Vegas, of course, looking to win this. They're ahead of LA by one point. If they win this one, then they'll be playing the Oilers in the first round. Uh, so October 14th, Vegas won 4-1. November 5th, Anaheim won 4-2. December 27th, Anaheim won, won that matchup 5-2. For the Ducks, they're 26-50-5. Kalorn, their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 
Six goals, two assists, eight points. Uh, Vetrano, thir- second on the list with 13 games, five goals, two assists, seven points. Silverberg, it's his last game in the National Hockey League. All the best to him on playing in Europe. Post-NHL retirement, 13 games, one goal, two assists, three points for Silverberg over the last month. Uh, for Vegas, they're 45-28-8. They are, again, one point ahead of the LA Kings in third place in the division. Eichel, 14 games, 9 goals, 7 assists, 16 points. Has been excellent. William Carlson, 14 games, 6 goals, 7 assists, 13 points. And, of course, Hurdle, player they picked up at the deadline. 5 games played, 2 goals, 2 assists, 4 points. How prominent is he going to be when we get to those playoffs on the weekend? 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific start between Chicago and L.A. So this is a must-win for L.A. Uh, they've won the first two meetings with Chicago, March 15th by a score of 5 nothing, March 19th by a score of 6-2. to two. So if this all plays out the way that we think it will, we'll get Vegas against Edmonton and L.A. against Dallas in the first round. But until they play the games, you just don't know. Uh, Kurashev, the leading scorer for the 23-53-5 and five Chicago Blackhawks, at least over the last month. 13 games, 4 goals, 8 assists, 12 points. Connor Bedard, 13 games, 1 goal, 7 assists, 8 points. Uh, Sligert has been quite good for them. And so, again, next year over a full season, we'll see how he does. 13 games, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 points for him over the last month. Uh, LA, 43, 27, and 11 overall. Again, 1 point behind Vegas. Kempe, the leading scorer for them over the last month. 14 games, 6 goals, 12 assists, 18 points. He's been excellent. Uh, Sos Fiala, 15 games, or 14 games, I should say, 7 goals, 8 assists, 15 points. Byfield, his last chance at 20 goals tonight, 14 games. He just has the 4 assists over the last month, so maybe he hits that 20 goal mark tonight. Let me know your picks in the comments section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.